Hey, what's going on guys? Um, today, I'm bringing you guys the installation of the new lip. So this is the carbon fiber lip I've been talking about. Looks gorgeous. It looks way better than my rear spoiler carbon fiber. And uh, I feel like just doing a few things around the car. That's all gonna be carbon fiber accents, like the side mirrors, the diffuser, front lip. Uh, just a few things here and there. Um, maybe a little bit of something to go underneath the side skirts that are carbon fiber. You know, try to make it look aesthetically nice as possible. So right now we're going to set up uh, the camera on the tripod and show you guys how we're going to be installing this uh, lip. So we're first going to push some 3M, put it underneath the bumper, um, and then right after that, I'll probably take off the complete bumper and drill some holes so we can put some screws in there and make sure it's 100% on there so when I'm driving, I hit a curb or whatever, it's not going to go off flying on me. Even if I damage the lip, I'd rather have it damaged than gone. Alright guys, so we got some 3M uh, adhesive tape. Um, this is supposed to be used for outdoors. I would not get the one that was used for indoors, obviously, because if it gets wet, it might start peeling. Um, well, we are going to use, you know, screws or zip ties as an extra measure, but for now, I got some thicker 3M and some thin 3Ms for the corners. Just want to make sure this lip gets on there perfectly. I did spend $300 on it, so I want to make sure, you know, it's a good looking lip. One. I think that was the only one in that one. I can check in holders if you want. It's fine. It's just terrible. Alright guys, so now we have all the 3M tape on it, um, so I just want to show you guys pretty much how we did it before I actually start peeling it. Um, what I didn't do is put it in these corners right here because that's where it honestly fits in the most and if you put any tape there, it gives it an extra layer that it's not going to sit right. So just try to stay away from those edges and stay away from the top as much as possible. But at the same time, don't get stay too far like how I did right here, so I added a little bit more. And um, so basically, you don't want you don't want the tape to peek out, or even if you don't see it, you don't want water to get in there and soak in it. So that's a good distance away from the edges, and that should be good all the way around. All right, guys. So we got all but peeled off. Now we're gonna sit down the camera for you guys, and we're gonna put it on the car and pretty much stick it as much as possible before we start screwing it in. Got darker parts of my mind, yeah. Got darker days on this grind, yeah. Never pay no mind to what I hate to say. Criticize myself more than anybody. And the fitment with this one ended up being really, really good. Now I know my job with the wrap isn't 100% perfect, but again, whatever, I did it myself. If anyone ever comes up to me in a car and be like, yo, what's up with your wrap? I'll be like, yo, did I wrapped it myself. Back up, okay? So yeah, guys, on the sides, I can see it's not 100%, but it's fine. These are an aftermarket bumper with an aftermarket lip for the fitment. I believe it's actually really, really good. I'm not going for that stance look, so. All right, guys, so right now, we're gonna be taking off the bumper and just making sure the back is 100% sticky because there's two layers to the lip, two layers to the bumper. Just gonna make sure it's 100% sticky, like, you know, on there. And then we're gonna try to see if we can draw a few holes and put some zip ties and, you know, perfect it. Yeah, I feel like Dr. Strange, yeah. Teach you how to persevere through the pain, yeah. They All right, guys, so I'm gonna drill a hole right here. Okay, you guys can see it right there, um, right here. Probably on, no, the hole's not the same mark. I'm gonna drill one farther back where the lip touches, and then I'm gonna drill another hole right here, and another hole right there. And I'm just gonna zip tie all the way across, so it is something I can remove. With screws, sometimes they loosen up. With zip ties, they can't loosen up unless, you know, it's a really bad accident and it rips it off. So hopefully we'll never have that problem, but we're gonna start working on that right now. It's that negativity that y'all believe in, can't believe it. I can help you learn to breathe free. Kill the hatred coming out your teeth. But first, you gotta believe me. Jealousy is toxic, demonic as it gets. Greed is just as poisonous. Y'all see what it infects? Takes over the mind, leaving souls behind. I drilled a hole right there, a hole down here, a hole right here, and I drilled two holes here because this was kind of far away. Let's see if I can show y'all. The reason why I drilled two is so the zip can, can go through there and the lip and then come over here to make sure it's tightened. Another one right there, that hole's semi close to it. I don't really want to drill another hole. And there's one right there with the lip right underneath again, and then another hole that's already pre drilled right there. There we go. So you guys can see basically, I, the lip is now attached to the bumper, zip tied it up all the way across, and I have multiple places where I did this. 
right over here as well. So now I'm just gonna start cutting up all the zip ties and putting the bubble back on the car. It's all up in your head. Stand up for what you rap. Don't need no one's approval. So you guys don't mind me wearing this shirt. It's just my extra shirt. Can't wear it at work anymore. So just using it for my videos. Get it dirty. You know who really cares? Um, so I'm not. I, the car is unable to be driven at the moment, and I'll be making a video on that shortly. Maybe tomorrow is gonna be a video on that. Uh, pretty much, yeah. Probably gonna upload it right after this video, the day after. So you guys understand what's going on. I'm not driving the car. I'm taking some pretty sick shots. Um, and then I have a few other videos coming up. So stay tuned. But I mean. The reason why I'm not showing you guys the the, the, the bumper on the car and everything is because I can't really drive it at the moment. I'll let you guys know in a few videos to come. But if you did enjoy this video and you found this slip installation helpful and you liked it, smash that like button and yeah, straight to the shots. Honestly guys, it looks so clean. Look at that. Oh my god. Imagine when I get the headlights on this baby too. That is looking clean. She got me saying, Yalla, huh, baby. I need you to see me Quit with the front and then put your guard down Girl, we know you ain't easy She got me saying, y'all love her, baby I need you to see me Quit with the front and then put your guard down Girl, we know you ain't easy You know